Right, so today I'm here with our guest chef, Hannah Thomas. Tell us what we're going to be cooking today. So the first dish we're going to cook today is a roasted red pepper short cross tart. We're going to be using the Regal red pepper chilli number no. five sauce. Sounds amazing. Let's get on it. Yeah, right. So we're just going to make a basic short crust. Okay. Yep. So what's the secret to that then? So a few things. We're going to sieve the flour. You want to keep everything as cold as possible. So we're going to use fridge cold butter and I'm going to grate that in um, to the flour and then you just want to sort of handle it as little as possible. Get it evenly incorporated just using my fingertips and just needs to sort of resemble breadcrumbs. So next I'm just going to beat an egg. I'm going to add a little bit of cold water to that and then I'm going to be adding that to the flour make a well in the center. And then I'm actually gonna be using a fork again, that's just keeping it as cold as possible. So then I'll just bring it together with my hands at the end. And I'm just gonna literally wrap that up in cling film, put it into the fridge to rest. So we just cooked the peppers um, over coals on a Kamado. Um, but if you don't want to do that, you can either um, put them on a gas hob just over the flame and blister and char the skin, or you can just uh, preheat your grill to its higher setting. Um, still use the olive oil and again, probably about 20 minutes and just rotate them until it's all blistered. So we're just gonna roll out the pastry to line the tin. It's gonna lightly flour a board. I'm gonna keep rotating the pastry and then I know that it's not sticking. I'm gonna roll it out to about two to three millimeters thick. And we'll check that it's gonna fit the tart in. Perfect. So you can just fold it like that and then you can put that point into the center of the tin. unfold it like that and I'm going to go around pushing like this and then pinching it off using the edge of the tin and then this bit we're actually going to fold inside just tucking it right down to the bottom and squeezing up the edges so I'm just going to line the chilled tart case um, with some parchment paper And then I'm filling it with some baking beans, nice and full, and that's just gonna stop the side slipping down and it's keep, gonna keep the base nice and flat. And then we're gonna put that into the oven at 180 for about 15 minutes, and then we'll probably take the beans out and then just crisp up the base. So we want the pastry to be fully cooked. Right, so that's in the oven, what's the next stage? So we're gonna make the filling next, um, starting with an egg and two egg yolks. Gonna whisk those up. Then we're gonna add some lovely thick double cream. And then a couple of tablespoons of the chili number no. five regal red pepper sauce. This regal red pepper sauce is packed full of superfoods. We've got ginseng, green tea, apple cider vinegar, and guarana. So we're gonna take the skin off them. got some nice relatively creamy goat's cheese which I'm going to slice up which will melt into the custard. Out it comes. So I'm just going to take these beans off. You'll see that it's quite nice and crisp at the edges but it's still a little soft on the base so we're just going to go back in to let that crisp up Hello. for about two to three minutes. So that's lovely and golden on the base. Nice and crispy. Squeeze in one more pepper there. So it's just going in for about 20 to 30 minutes at 160. We just want it to look golden brown and for the custard just to be set. 
Right, Adam, I think it's ready. Yes. <laughs> oh, mate, I'm so excited. Nice. And there we have it. Hannah Thomas's red pepper and goat's cheese tart made with the regal red pepper sauce from chili number five. I cannot wait to get stuck in to this.